Notice the wire harness. Don't notice the colors, but position. It will help you when it comes to this piece, the brain, where you got to attach them. And you're going to attach the 22 and 23. Again, notice the position at the collar. You may have to so the When I put mine together and I tried to be slick and jam the wires through without using a paper clip or something because there's nothing in here but a rubber seal. So, if you can see, see the other ones that are empty, the little orange thing, that's a rubber seal. You got to poke through that. Don't use this to poke through it. I ended up breaking it, breaking it off, and then I had to steal this wire right here out of another one. And then I soldered it, shrink wrapped it. But this is my blue wire. This is my technically red wire. Red 22, blue 23. I don't know, they're confusing. But I'll snap a picture of my part, my plug in here, and you can see here is where I shrink wrapped and soldered. Hey, we're back at this trains, baby. Here we go. So, this is your stock harness. 4L60. We're going to swap it over to a 408. You'll need a pick like so, because the first thing you got to do is pop this clip off so this opens. Then, you're going to come down here. I'm trying to show you this. I already did it. But this wire runs like so. In here. These two clips sit here. So basically, easy as said, you gotta take this underneath this to get it off of this. Out of the way, boom. And over and holding it in place. Sorry if I go off camera times there. Just need it far enough out that when I get the bread and white or sorry, when I get the Two wires out, I can swap them. Hey, it's a good time to take a peek while you're in here. Make sure there's no corrosion in there. Make sure nothing's split. Make sure these are all in, in there. So the next thing, like I said, you're taking white out and getting rid of it. So I say take white out first. Why? Because once you take it out, it's out of the way. You don't got to worry about it. So white's right here. You got to go way down in here. Like so. I could cut this wire right now. We don't need it. But for sanity purposes, I don't know what the heck's going on. For some reason, if I did this wrong, I gotta put that white wire back in. Boom, look. Got it. Hope you saw that. It's out. I'm gonna pull this white wire all the way out the harness. I'm not using that. Boom. So. We got to repeat on the brown one. If you really wanted to and you were lazy and you were like, screw this, jam it out. But, I, like I said, I'm paranoid. My luck is I have to put this back in. So this is the wire we're working on. Follow it up, it's this one. We don't want to mess that up at all because we need this one. Ooh, so this one. Second tool vanished. Oh well, we're gonna use this. Or, hey, why don't we just reach back here and grab it? Boom! That was a lot easier. So now pay attention. Hopefully, you remember we're going into the white spot. Hopefully, one of these is power because uh, I bought the harness from Amazon that does this for you. Yeah, that's what I get for being lazy, right? Why are these wires stuck together? Ah, oh, just stuck. I thought maybe they were melted. They're not. Pull it out. You're going next to the blue. Pull it out of there, going next to the blue, and back in. Now, you're also going next to the blue down there, so follow it right in the hole. Come through, make sure it locks. As soon as it's locked in, put this bad boy back in. Because what this does, it holds them little, all them little clips from going back in. Now, push this back in all that, and you're good to go. But, because I'm in a paranoid mode, I'm already having my own problems, I'm now gonna come in and just plug this bad boy in. Excuse me. Plug it in. Notice, uh, you got the alignment. See the alignment pin at the bottom, all right? You gotta find that on your 
transmission. Um, I got my finger up there, you can't see it, it's in the forward position. So forward position for me is gonna be like so. Arrow in the forward position. Should slide right in, no problem. It's not, of course. Thick. All right. Oh, I lied. Just look at this. You want to look at this. That, that has to go in the forward position. Because that goes in the groove up there. Oh, right in and locked. That's the best. It felt awesome. So now, before I button all this up to make it 100%, huh, wish me luck. Because today's been a long one. Uh, this is the harness we told you I bought from Amazon. Um, and it came with a wire for the sensor also because the front input sensor on the trans you have to wire in If I didn't already talk about that, I'll show you um, And what it is is You got to add two wires to the brain in position 21 and 22 to the red wire What's the little information here? I don't know if you know it. I took and bent the white wire over. It's bent over in there uh, Leaving the end on and I got a little heat, heat shrink here exactly what I wanted to do. Pretty much sealed that thing in there. So at the end, I'm going to flatten myself. This is sealed there. Sealed there. I'll put that in the harness. I'm going to put it uh, all together and out of the way because this rotates at all times. In case there we go. So we're on the road, people. Let's see if it happens. Oh, shit. That was second. There's third. And the computer says it too. I thought I bought a bad transmission. Thought I bought a bad transmission. We're good, man. She sounds good too. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can. Let's pull the back with it out. A little loud. We'll deal with that though later. Put some tailpipes on her. But we're up and running. Can't say the speedometer is right, but we'll find out. It's got 390 somethings in there, in there, but it's got 373s in the truck, so we'll figure it out. But you got any uh, problems, let me know. I might be able to help you. I mean, I'm sure between everybody on YouTube, you can figure out anything. And uh, just by me Googling for L80 stuck in second gear, the computer, the internet told me the computer was reading no power. So basically the plug that was plugged in from Amazon wasn't doing its job. Like and subscribe for some more handy, helpful hints.